People who fail the PMP exam always do the same thing. I'm gonna teach you one of those things today, teach you how to identify it, teach you how to eliminate it so that you can actually put yourself on a path to pass. Let's do this. All right, so PMP exam success secrets with Scott. Here we go. There are certain actions that we see or I see for students that they keep taking the same actions and they end up failing. It puts them on a path of failure. And when they get involved with us, we identify them, we break them of those patterns, those actions, those habits, and we get them on a new path so that they can be successful. Now, can't fix everybody out in the world, but we're trying to. So let me explain this number one one that will, if you're doing this, will put you at a greater risk to fail. All right, so drum roll, what is it? Well, it is using a traditional PMP data dump. Okay, so this data dump that everybody in the known universe and world, every boot camp, every know it all, every person on a, on a, on a chat room thingy says you got to have a PMP exam uh, data dump, they're wrong. Mm. They're leading you astray. They're setting you up for failure. They're cheating you. They are bamboozling. However you want to say it, don't listen to them. It's wrong. All right. And so the thing I would ask is, why do they want you to use a data? Why do they think it's the right thing to do? Okay. It's not malicious in its intention, but it's a malicious in its effect, which is, you know, bad in and of itself. Okay. So what goal do they think that a, a data dump serves, right? Well, right off the bat, they think that it's going to organize all the things you need to know on one piece of paper. And it's going to simplify your process because you're going to have them there. You're going to write it down. You're going to have all these facts down there and you're going to be able to have them on the exam, right? You're going to have, that sounds logical. I could sell that idea, right? Well, it's wrong because what could you write down? You could write down all the inos. You could write down all the processes. You could write on the, the outputs that we're trying to go through. You could write down all the tools. You could write down processes. You could write down how you solve problems, blah, 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 blah. You could write down all these things, but think about it. Picture it on the paper. When you go into the exam, what do you have? You have situational questions. That's who you're fighting against. That's who you're you know, wrestling with. And how many of those situational questions require verbatim, factual, just little points of information? None of them. Because they, they require you to understand context and what's the best response to the situation, okay? So you filling up and spending your time documenting all these things is not preparing you for the tussle, the wrestle, the enterprise that you're getting ready to walk into. So you're setting yourself up for failure. You have failed me for the last time. And what it's also doing is it ma it's making you spend your time doing things that don't work and that won't pay off. And it's keeping you from focusing on the things that do pay off. And so what I would say to you is that you take your data dump right now and you look at it and you say, could I explain these things? Could I explain them? If someone random walked into the room, could you explain what they are, why are they important, how they're used? Could you do that? Because if you can't do that, you might as well have it written in a foreign language, okay? Now, if you can do that and you can explain what's on it, why did you write it down? Like you, you nerdy know this stuff. So doing that takes you to be honest with yourself and honest with your ability to explain it. Now the process of analyzing and say, can I explain it? Do I understand when it's used? Do I understand why it's used? Do I understand situations that would solve a problem in? That requires you to think and thinking's a good thing. All right. You get to dive down into your brain and go, Hmm, I do not know why. We use an Ishikawa diagram. Huh, I don't know why they invented it. Is Ishikawa a dude or is it a name of a fish? I don't even know that, okay? It's not, it's a dude. Um, and so we gotta go through each one of those things. And by doing that, you're changing thought patterns. And thought patterns is how we dominate life, okay? And so what I want you to do now is take that first pass through there and say, what do I know? Shoom, shoom. I can explain this. I can explain this and actually do it. Actually get somebody else and try to explain it. And if you get glazed over eyes, you ain't got it yet. You ain't got it yet. But if you get, oh, 
that makes sense. That's kind of cool. That's logical. Bingo. Cross it off and keep on going. And then what I'd like you to do is take that same piece of paper and I'd like you to build on it. Now, I just told you that data dumps are worthwhile or, or worthless. You know, leaving it, populating it, and then taking it into the exam with your like security blanket like a two-year-old kid is not the way to do it. What we want to do it is we want to have it to be our plate of learning. This is where we need to focus our attention. So I want you to take that data dump and actually start operationalizing it, challenging yourself. And then when you're learning, when you're reading, when you're watching videos, when you're hearing me rant, when you're solving questions, I want to say, that confused me, Scott. I don't know what you're talking about. Bingy, bangy, bangy, write it down. And then we go, why is it used? Have I ever seen it? Where would it be valuable? What problems would it solve? Hmm, make yourself the professor. Go through the steps of learning. Master it at a certain level. And once you do that, oh, the good times come. The good times come. Because you get to cross it out. And doesn't it feel good to make a check or cross something out? And what happens? You're eventually going to make that data dump. I can't crunch this piece of paper up because it's got my notes for the next podcast. Elf. But you're going to crunch it up. Let me get another piece of paper. Symbolically, throw it away. Because you don't need it. Because what you've done is you've challenged yourself with you and with your team and with the people that are supporting you, we can help you with that, to go through and really understand philosophically why we use this stuff, procedurally why we use it, what problems it solves, etc. Then you become the master, which is good. All right, and so what you do at the end is your data dump evaporates. The need for it evaporates. You know that in your heart and your mind, you have what it takes. That's how we go. That's the path that we must go through. And so if you have a data dump, that's awesome. We have a place to start. But if you follow the conventional wisdom path, and you know what they say about that, you're going to fail. You might not fail, but it's going to be a higher probability. Follow my path. We're going to go somewhere good. So decision's yours. I recommend evaporating data dump. Use your mind, not your pencil, uh, to, to accumulate stuff. Use your mind to think, not your pencil to accumulate and forget and be scared. Okay? Simple decision. Let's make it today. Now, if you want help to analyze those points, because you're not going to know them all, you're going to get better. Like you need to get better at this quickly. And if you need help, you know, analyze them, frame them the right way, having people explain them, work it out there, make it real to have you internalize them, reach out to us. You can email me at scott at pmmasterprep.com. You can call me, text me, whatever. Maybe I have a fax machine. I don't even know. 757. 757- 7595282 or you can go on the website hit the accelerator application button it doesn't mean anything other than yo I want to talk to you Scott I got a question all right me my team everybody will be out there so right now just say no to the data dump it's going to hurt you and get in there and get some help all right so good lesson talk to you later adios muchachos <laughs>